Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are digging this up from the topic of integration. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here, from this topic, the question tells us that x within the square bracket refers to greatest integer function, which basically gives us the value of the greatest integer that is less than or equal to x. Further, we have been told to find the value of y squared integral from the limit 0 to 2. The first function given to us is sine of y x by 2. And the second function given to us here in this expression is x minus the greatest integer function x, which is raised to another greatest integer function x. So we need to find the value of this entire expression. And if I talk about the options given to us, the options we have here is 2 times pi minus 1. The second option given is 4 times pi minus 1. The third option given to us is 4 times pi plus 1. And the last option given to us is 2 times pi plus 1. So we need to figure out which one of the following four options is the correct answer for this value of the integral given to us. Let's figure out the value of this integral. Before that, first let's understand the greatest integer function. So if I know that my limits are going from x equal to 0 and it goes till x equal to 2. So basically if I see for all the values of x from 0 and which goes not till 1 but just less than 1. For all the values of that, the greatest integer function would become equal to 0 because greatest integer function tells us that the value of x is less than or equal to 0. And from x equal to 1 till the values of x just less than 2, we will have the value of the greatest integer function as equal to 1. So if I have my entire integral, the expression if I have that pi squared, integral of the limit 0 to 2, sine pi x by 2, and the other bracket was x minus greatest integer function x, which is raised to greatest integer function x. I can just write this limit splitting it as pi squared x from 0 till 1 sine of pi x by 2 and the other bracket is x minus we already know the greatest integer function for all the values from x equal to 0 till 1 the greatest integer function's value is 0 so this becomes 0 the whole raised to again 0 dx plus pi square limit from 1 to 2 sine pi x by 2. Here we have the function as x minus the value of greatest integer function for values from x equal to 1 till 2. We get the value as 1 so I will keep this as 1. So if I try to split this idea and solve this further let's see what I get. So I have that entire expression written as pi squared integral from 0 to 1 and your expression becomes sine pi x y2. The second part of the expression is x raised to 0. We already know anything raised to 0 is always 1. So we get that as 1 dx plus the other limit again pi squared. Limits from 1 to 2 you have sine pi x pi 2 and the other expression is x minus 1 dx. So if I try to solve this integral, I can solve this using u and v rule. So I'll have to apply the idea of lie it to solve this idea. The first integral I can just integrate as it is. So integral of sine theta, we know it is minus cos theta. So if I try to integrate this part first, this would make it pi squared. Integral of sine pi x by 2 is minus cos of pi x by 2. Dividing by the coefficient of x, that is pi by 2. The limits going from 0 to 1. Plus, the other part here, if you see, you have logarithmic inverse algebraic 
trigonometric and then exponential. So if I see this is your trigonometric and this is your algebraic. So you'll consider this as u and this is v. When you have integral u v, we can write that as u integral v dv minus big O integral derivative into integral v dv. And you are integrating it with respect to dv. So here if I write try to write this entire expression to solve it further, I can write that as u which is x minus 1 integral of sine pi x y 2 dx minus integral derivative of u which is derivative of x minus 1. So derivative of x is 1, 1 minus 0 that is 1 and integral of v that is again you are putting integral of sine pi x y 2 that we already now know it is minus cos of pi x y 2 upon pi pi 2. Again dx. If I try to solve this further, I get x minus 1. Integral of sine pi x by 2 is minus cos pi x by 2 upon pi by 2 plus, because minus and minus plus, integral of cos pi x by 2. Here you have 1 upon pi by 2 as it is. And integral of cos pi x by 2 also, if I write integral of cos theta is sine theta, so you get sine pi x by 2 upon pi by 2. So you get this entire expression. The limits for this entire expression is called 1, 2. So we have the first part's answer as this for the limits from x equal to 0 to 1. And for the second part of the integral, we have the entire solution of the expression as this for the limits from x equal to 1. To 1. So we get the entire solution as pi square. This entire value was also multiplied with pi square. So I need to multiply that also with pi square. So I'm multiplying pi square here as well for the entire expression. So we have the result as pi square. This becomes pi to pi by 2 if I take it in the numerator becomes 2 by pi. And you have minus cos of pi x by 2. For the limits 0 to 1. Plus, here if I see pi square again, x minus 1 into 2 by pi into minus cos pi x by 2. For the limits again from 1 to 2. Plus, you have pi square. Here also you have the value as 2 by pi and one more 2 by pi, so 4 by pi square into sine pi x by 2 for the limits from 1 to 2. Now let's just put the values and get the answer for the expression. So we get the answer as pi square. So if I can cancel pi, let's cancel pi once. So I get pi. Here also I can cancel out pi. Here I can directly cancel pi square. So what you are left with, let's see. So you get here 2 pi minus cos pi by 2. Take x equal to 1. Minus, minus, if I put x equal to 0, you get cos 0. Plus, here you get 2 pi common. Again, if you put x as 2, you get 2 minus 1, which is 1. And here if I put x as 2, I get minus cos 2 pi by 2. That is minus cos pi. Minus, if I put x as 1, I get 1 minus 1, 0. So anything multiplied with 0 is always you should get this entire term to bring out 0. Plus 4. Sine pi x by 2. So if I put x as 2, I get sine 2 pi by 2, which is sine pi. Minus if I put x as 1, I get sine pi by 2. So further, if I try to solve this, I get 2 pi. Minus 
cos pi by 2 if i see cos pi by 2 we know that cos 0 is 1 cos pi by 2 is 0 so cos pi by 2 turns out to be 0 plus cos 0 that is 1 so we have the first expressions answer second expression if i try to figure out i have that as again plus 2 pi minus cos pi so cos pi we know it is minus 1 so minus of minus 1 plus 4 here you have sine pi minus sine pi by 2 so sine pi by 2 we know it is 1 and sine pi we know it is equal to 0 minus 1 so what i get here let's see so i get 2 pi 0 plus 1 is 1 minus of minus 1 is again 1 so 2 pi plus 2 pi minus 4 so you get 4 pi minus 4 4 common you get pi minus 4 so we get the answer here as 4 times pi minus 1 and if you see the option that matches your the question the answer is option so i get a correct answer for this question which is asked to us as option b i hope you have understood how to solve this type of question which deals with the ideas of integrals along with the concepts of the greatest integer function where we were told that the greatest integer function resembles the greatest integer less than or equal to x so i split my values of the limits from x equal to 0 to 2 as x equal to 0 to 1 for which the greatest integer function is 0 and from 1 equal to 2 i get the greatest integer function's value as x equal to 1 if I further solved it, I got two integrals. I separately solved the two integrals. One was directly solvable, taking integral of sine theta. But for other, we needed to apply integral of p. So I just used the idea of lie to get my order, which should be u and which should be v. And then we just figured out the integral's answer. Then we just substituted the limits and we got the answer, turning out to be 4 times pi minus 1, which matches with option. I hope you have understood. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JW mains as well as level. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JW mains as well as level. I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you.